In this video, what we are going to do is something called adding break lines to a surface. So that is something important when you are doing a civil 3D work. When you are creating a civil 3D surface, especially you have to add break lines. Break lines are something called items where you know whether when items where you know the surface changes at a definite point so i will show you that to do that you have to uh, change this drawing name as at break lines so i go here and click save as and change the name as at break lines and break lines click save then again i am going here and going to open the new drawing so in your data folder you have tar edge and center line lines that drawing click that one and click open so you will see something called you will see the tar edges and center line of the road existing road in the drawing we are working with so it is extracted to a separate place in here so it is giving only these lines in this drawing but you see here it is showing these lines these center lines they are marked as a line so it is giving those lines in a separate drawing so what we are going to do is we are copying this line into that drawing so to do that Select all the objects, select all the objects, right click, clipboard, copy with base point, then 0, 0 will be your base point, click enter, then go back to your add break lines drawing, add break lines drawing, this drawing, right click, clipboard, paste, then you type 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0 as your insertion point. The center you will see the lines are coming into this drawing. So what we are going to do here is we know that within the edge lines and center line, that means within the existing road, the road have a definite shape because a road have a definite slope and definite shape within the road edges and the center line it is different from the existing ground it has a definite shapes with when it comes to the road so if you think of a dam it has a definite shape so where the slope of an object is where the slope of an object can be identified uh, without any problem we call that line as a break line so you can identify the edge of the lane and center of the lane easily so we call them as break lines in terms of a dam top of the dam will be a break line because you can see at the top the slopes are changing from that dam edge line so that is uh, how to identify break lines if you consider of a channel or an irrigation canal you will see the bottom of the canal the slope changes and at the top of the canal also slope changes so those lines would be break lines so here we have the road edges as our break lines so we will be applying them into the surface to get a more accurate surface so to, to make sure that we are getting a more accurate surface, I want you to click this one of these contour lines. So you will be getting whole surface selected. So you will have to be seeing something like this thin surface EG. So if you don't see something like this, press escape bar on escape button on your keyboard. Then again select this line. Then you will see this then right click and go to object viewer so once you just click this 
let this mouth somewhere here you will see some kind of a road is going on the middle even though it is going you can see the road is not smooth even though you can see a road the road is not smooth that is what we see at the moment you might press close here to close that one then i select these three lines that means this red line this light blue line and the pink color line only these three lines and all things will be selected then i go to prospector surfaces eg and then definition as we go now here we click break lines then go to add as the name the type break lines and your type would be proximity and you click ok while we are selected there will be a small error but you have to ignore that so minor problem then what i do is i click this contour line one of the contour lines so we will be having something like this then again i right click and go to object weaver then i again see my drawing now you will see a more clear road in the middle in the initial option you will be something uh, not like a sharp rough surface not like a road surface it is something like a rough surface now even though the outside of the road looking rough but the center of the road looking more smooth now that is because of the option we gave by a break line so that is the importance of break lines in civil 3d i close the object we were in the previous step so you will be having this kind of drawing now so now you know what is the importance of break lines in the next video we will see how to export our surface into land cnet